What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So the question that I probably get the most is what's the best projector for me to buy? So today we're gonna to talk about my favorite home theater projectors, so stay tuned. So projection technology has changed a lot over the past few years and it seems like it's more popular now than ever. Now if you're new to projection or you're thinking about buying your first projector, then be sure to check out my TV versus projector video for some good information if you haven't already. Now before I get started, I do want you guys to know that none of these companies have endorsed me or swayed my decisions in this video in any way. These are all my own personal opinions and like I always say, I recommend for you to see a projector in person for yourself before making any real decisions. So first let's start with the most expensive option which is projectors under $5,000. Now this is sort of a controversial one since you have a ton of options, but my personal favorite is the Sony VPL VW 285ES. Not only does the image from this projector look absolutely incredible with its amazing black levels, but it's the only projector on this entire list that has a native 4K chip. This means that it doesn't use pixel shifting to display a 4K image. The chip itself is full 4K, so you get an incredibly sharp image on this projector. Not only that, but it does a great job with HDR content as well. Now I didn't wanna throw in a whole separate category for a $4,000 projector, so I'm gonna throw in the Optima UHZ65 as the runner up in the sub $5,000 category. Now this projector does use pixel shifting to produce a 4K image, but putting it side by side next to the Sony, I wasn't able to see a real difference in clarity. However, the Optima is a much brighter projector than the Sony since it's a laser projector, so if you either don't have a light controlled room or you just prefer bright projectors, then the UHZ65 is a great choice. All right, so the next category is best projector under $2,000. So priced around $1,700, my choice is actually the projector that I use in my own home theater, and that's the Optima UHD 60. Now this projector is super bright with 3000 lumens and to top it off it's the sharpest 4K projector you can get for the money as it uses the same DLP chip as the UHZ65. It also has support for HDR and has decent black levels for a DLP projector. The runner up is the Optima UHD 51A, which is also priced around $1,700. Now I chose this as a runner up because it's very similar to the UHD 60, but it also supports 3D, which is a big deal to some people. Now at 2400 lumens, it is a little dimmer than the UHD 60, but it's more color accurate, so the colors do pop a little bit more. It's also the only projector that supports voice control with Alexa and the Google Assistant, which is pretty awesome. So the next category is the best projector for less than $1,500, and my choice for this is the Optima UHD 50. I've tested a lot of projectors, but in my opinion, the UHD 50 is one of my favorite projectors, and I've actually crowned this as the best 4K projector of 2018 so far based on its price features and performance. Not only is this one of the sharpest 4K projectors to come out this year, but it has absolutely amazing color accuracy, nearly covering 100% of Rec. 709 and nearly 90% of DCI P3, and somehow still produces 2400 lumens. The runner up in this category is the ViewSonic PX7274 k Now the ViewSonic is actually priced at $1299 at the time of this video and I'll tell you that this projector is definitely worth more than that. It produces a super sharp and color accurate image that you simply can't beat for the money. It also has HDR support and is one of the smallest 4K projectors I've seen so far. The next category is the best projector for less than $1,000, and I'm gonna give this one to the BenQ HT2050A. Now this projector is actually priced at $750, and is probably the projector that I recommend to people the most. It's a 1080p projector with amazing color accuracy, 2200 lumens, super low input lag for gamers, and a good throw ratio for smaller rooms. It's great for people who are just getting into projection, and it's definitely one of my favorite projectors overall. Now believe it or not, the runner up for this category is actually a 4K projector and that's the ViewSonic PX747 4K, which sometimes goes on sale for less than a thousand bucks. So this is the brighter brother to the PX727 and it has all the same features, but it's much brighter with 3500 lumens so it works better for bright rooms. Now it doesn't have the color accuracy of the 727, but at 999, it's definitely a no brainer. And the last category is gonna be the best projector for less than $500, and this goes to yet another Optima projector, which is the Optima HD27. Now this was actually a toss up between the HD27 and the HD143X, since they're so similar, but the HD27 does beat out the 143X since it's a little brighter. Now these are actually the top selling 1080p projectors on Amazon, and they sell a lot of them for a reason. 
All right, guys, wardrobe change. And that's because it's actually the next day because I wanted to add two additional categories to this video. One is gonna be the best short throw projector and the other is gonna be the best gaming projector. Okay, so the best short throw projector is actually gonna be an ultra short throw projector and that's the LG PF1000U. So this projector is priced around $1,400 and it can produce a 100 inch screen from about 15 inches away. Another cool thing about this projector is that it has LG's WebOS 3.0, so it has apps built in and lets you stream movies and shows. The runner up is gonna be the BenQ HT2150 ST. So this projector is similar to the HT2050, but it's short throw, so it works in a much smaller room and produces about a 100 inch screen from around five feet away. Now the thing I like most about this projector is its color accuracy and sharpness. And unlike the LG, you can pretty much do any size screen you want. All right, so the last category is gonna be the best gaming projector. So this is gonna go to the Optima GT 1080 Darby, which is currently priced around $700. So the original Optima GT 1080 was easily the best selling short throw projector for a couple of years, and that's because of its super short throw producing a 100 inch screen from less than four feet away and a super fast response time of 16 milliseconds. So the GT 1080 Darby actually has replaced the original GT 1080 with even better image quality, but it still has all the things that made the original great like the 3000 lumens and great throw ratio. The runner up is gonna be the BenQ TH671 ST. So this is another fantastic short throw projector from BenQ that's geared towards gamers. It looks great and has a fast response time of about 16 and a half milliseconds. It also produces 3000 lumens, so it has plenty of brightness for gamers. And it's a bit smaller than most projectors and it only weighs about six pounds. It also produces a 100 inch screen from about five feet away, which is another plus. All right, so I do have one honorable mention that didn't actually make the list, and that's the Epson 5040UB. Now this is a $2,500 3LCD projector, unlike most of the other projectors on the list, which are DLP projectors. So the Epson produces a remarkable image with amazing black levels and great color accuracy. The only reason it didn't make the list is because of its price and lack of 4K certification, which most people expect when spending over $2,000. However, if you're sensitive to the rainbow effect on some DLP projectors, then the Epson is a fantastic fantastic alternative, especially considering its picture quality. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this list. I will be posting Amazon links to all the projectors that I mentioned in this video. Clicking on those links does help support this channel, so I do appreciate the support. If you found this video helpful, as always, go ahead and mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post your comments in the comments section. I'll respond to your questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video changed a lot over the past few years and it seems like it's a not oh my god and like i always say i recommend for you to see a projector in so as it uses the same dl cheap what's up guys it's chris majestic so the question that i probably get the most is what's the best projector for me to buy so today we're going to talk about my favorite home theater projectors so stay tuned So projection technology has changed a lot over the past few years and it seems like it's more popular now than ever. Now, if you're new to projection or you're thinking about buying your first projector, then be sure to check out my TV versus projector video for some good information if you haven't already. Now, before I get started, I do want you guys to know that none of these companies have endorsed me or swayed my decisions in this video in any way. These are all my own personal opinions and like I always say, I recommend for you to see a projector in person for yourself before making any real decisions. So first let's start with the most 